Hello. Welcome. How are you? It's a Saturday afternoon. It's cloudy. It's rainy. I'm in my apartment. I might go spend the evening at the Met. Might not. Might just end up staying here and watching movies. I don't really know. But regardless, we're going to hang out while I do my makeup. I had a realization yesterday. So like the entire time that I've been like properly getting ready, I've always done makeup, hair, and then my outfit. And then yesterday I see this video of this girl saying the correct order to get ready is outfit, hair, makeup. And she is so right. That doesn't even make any sense. You have to like put your outfit on then do your hair and then you can do your makeup. Makeup's last. I have my essential oil diffuser going in my bathroom. You know, like sometimes I don't remember that I have free will and that like my oil diffuser is allowed to leave my bedroom. Like sometimes it's like, like I forget that I'm in charge, <laughs> but that does make total sense because how do you even know what kind of makeup to do if you don't have your outfit and your hair done. Road peptide lip treatment and salted caramel. I think it's the superior like it's not even a gloss like just like moisture because it's it's so hydrating it's so shiny it stays on for until you remove it until you take it off it's on and it smells so good it's my favorite thing to use in the fall because I don't I love the smell of salted caramel, but I don't necessarily like eating it. I don't like the taste, unless it's paired with chocolate and a biscuit. For example, a Twix bar, which is my favorite candy bar. I do have a habit of using like too much and then my lips are like boop. They're like a glazed donut. Like I said, I don't know if I said, I'm getting ready to go to the art museum, I think, alone, because I live alone for the month, because my roommate is gone. I really, really, really enjoy my alone time. It's my favorite time. And when I say alone time, like, I don't mean being completely alone all the time. Like, there are people who are included in my alone time because like they don't take any energy out. I really do love it. There's like, there is nothing I treasure more in my life than being alone. And like, I'm so grateful that I enjoy it. There's been a couple of people in my life that are no longer in it that would make me feel like there was something wrong with me for enjoying that alone time and there isn't there's different kinds of people in this world some people like being around people they get energy from that and some people energy is taken away from them when they are around people and i am definitely the latter energy is typically taken out when i'm surrounded by people and of course it differs like if i'm around my family that's not really the case. If I'm around strangers, that is absolutely the case. If I'm around people I do not like or don't trust, that is the case. Yeah, I've always been someone, I have a very tight circle. I don't go out. I don't enjoy it. I'm, I'm someone who, like, you know, in The Great Gatsby, they talk about, or the main character, he says that his favorite kind of party is a huge party because it's the most intimate one. I agree. I love a huge party more than a small party because it is so much more intimate because you can, I, I love to be just like kind of in the corner, kind of sitting, observing, absorbing the energy from the people, but like if there's like a group of 10 people getting together, that's a little small for me. Of course, unless it's like very close friends and family. But I'm really happy that I've gotten to a place in my life where I don't feel anything negative 
about that. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel like I shouldn't be doing that. It's just who I am, you know? Anyways, it's very, it's very weird. My roommate and close friend, Kat, she's gone for the month. So I'm pretty much by myself, living by myself here. And, it, and it's so odd because when I first moved here, I lived by myself for two and a half years downtown in a studio apartment that was the size of my now bedroom. So it's kind of, I kind of miss that time sometimes, but I'm very grateful to be out of it, you know? Because there were highs and lows, but the highs were really high and the lows were very low. And I've learned that that is actually not the best for me. I like, I, I do much better under like peace. <laughs> I think it just got dark because it's like on and off raining today. You know what I mean? I might not even end up leaving the house because let me tell you, there is nothing more disgusting than being outside in New York when it's raining. Cause it's, it's not even just the rain. It's the humidity is like horrific. It's hot, it's sticky. The crazy people do come out when it rains. You know what I mean? Like if it's hard to explain, but if you live in New York or you've like spent a good amount of time in New York, you know what I mean? Like just the crazies come out. It's my new favorite concealer and I got a mini cause I don't actually use that much concealer, but it's NARS Creamy. NARS Creamy Concealer and it's in the shade Chantilly. Speaking of Chantilly, my mom and I, we've been on like a huge Great British Baking Show kick. I love it. It's always, it's like my comfort show because it's a show where you're watching it. You can't be upset. You can't be sad. You can't feel doom. You can't feel anger. It's just like such a lighthearted and fun show and I love baking. So and I love British people and I love Irish people, Scottish people. I love it. So it's like the perfect show for me. Someone on the, I'm not gonna tell you what season cause I don't, want to, I don't want it to be spoiled, but someone was making like some sort of caramel cake and they put like a Chantilly cream. What's Chantilly? Is that like a tea? Chantilly? Chantilly, Chantilly? I don't know, but I'm using, I've had this blush forever. I probably need a new blush, Milk. It's in the color Quark. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving my alone time. Like there's nothing I enjoy, enjoy more than like going to the Met alone kind of just hanging out, maybe having a glass of wine if I, if I so choose. It's my favorite, especially when we get into like true fall. I would say right now it's still like late summer, but um, the Met at night, it'll be like empty and I can go into certain rooms and be the only person in there. And as I've stated earlier, I love nothing more than that, you know? And I, I live uptown now because one of my big issues with living downtown is I like felt like I could never relax because the second I walked out the door of my apartment, I lived in the village, it was like chaos, extreme chaos. And I'm a very anxious person and I would literally take all of that and absorb it all. And so I would have, towards the end there, I was having a tough time leaving my apartment. But I live uptown, I live by the park, so it's much nicer. Like I can get up and go for a walk in the park and I don't have to like travel to get there and that is essential to me. It is literally, it is pitch black. <laughs> my apartment is like doom gloom dark yeah pretty much the second it starts raining in the city i'm not going anywhere unless i am taking an uber and i never take ubers it's 
It's also fashion week, which is kind of fun. I do, I liked living downtown during fashion week because like, I don't know, it was fun seeing all the clothes. Like people just want, like you see an influx of people that you don't normally see. And it's, it's kind of fun because like, I don't know, it's fun. It's also overwhelming. Like there's a balance. That's why downtown for me isn't like the place to live. It's a fun place to visit sometimes. I also might just be getting ready. I was thinking about, instead of maybe going to the art museum, I might bake like a cinnamon cake. It sounds really good to me. Like a ooey gooey, like cinnamon. It sounds good. I have had, I've had a good day. I love food. I love cooking. I love flavors. I love the colors of food, why you're cooking them, how they change. I love everything about it. And I've had a spectacular day of cooking today. I woke up and I had a strawberry vanilla Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. Outstanding. I did, so like, I'm not a Greek yogurt girl. I've really like never had it before. And I thought I got a vanilla one and I accidentally got a plain one. No one told me how bad plain Greek yogurt tastes. Like I was with the honey and the cinnamon, like fighting for my life, trying to make it taste edible. I like sweet. Or it's not even that everything needs to be sweet. It's that I was expecting like a vanilla-y yogurt taste and I was greeted with like spoiled milk, you know? Like I'm gonna do my Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Tell me if they have, someone needs to tell me, or maybe I'll just look it up. That could be easier. I wonder if they have the black honey in a blush shade. Cause I think that would be really pretty. Tomorrow, the high is 70 degrees. My favorite weather. Yeah. I'm definitely an introverted homebody. And I like to be outside. And in this city, like, just like the general, like, being outside is really hard. And there's always a thousand people outside. So. Like all of a sudden, my entire apartment is like pitch black because there's like a rain cloud. I'm very affected by light. In general, I'm just a very sensitive person. Like I absorb moods. I think a lot about everything. Like it's just, Sometimes the city is just far too much for me. Like I can't take it. Literally simply can't take it, which is why I live uptown Manhattan because it's a little bit more like digestible. Oh my God. Last night, like I just said, I'm essentially living alone and I come home, I was gone all day, I was teaching, it was, it was late, it was like 7.30, which is late for me. I also like, as soon as the sun starts going down, I like to watch the sunset every single night if I can. And then as soon as it's down, I'm in. I'm in for the night, unless like, unless like I'm going to dinner, that's it. I'm not going anywhere but dinner. Dinner is it, maybe like out for dessert, but I get home, I'm starving, I have no food. And like the garbage was getting a little like full. And I go to take the garbage out and just the whole thing is ripping. Like there's no possible way that it's coming out unless it's ripping. And so I'm on FaceTime with my mom who is baking a chocolate layered cake. We're having like very different nights, you know? And she's like watching this whole thing happen as she's like, frosting her cake like she's having a wonderful night 
and like I'm not seeing any way to get past this so I go I grab another garbage bag and I grab some tongs and I am tonging garbage out of the garbage can into the bag so that way because the bag essentially the problem was the bag was way too heavy like the lifting it was just going it was breaking and having a broken like it was going to be a mess so I'm like tonging it out I finally get everything out and like I put the two garbage cans garbage bags on the ground they're so heavy I take them out I come back there's you know like seepage there was seepage and then the seepage was also in the garbage can and like the garbage can is like almost close to being as tall as I am and it was at this point when I started sobbing like uncontrollably because I was trying to swift for the floor and I was trying to like get into the garbage can to like wipe it out but I couldn't my face touched the garbage can my arm touched the garbage can I was hysterically crying and then like I got that all sorted out and my only thing I had to eat was bread and cheese so I had a cheese sandwich like cold it was so gross I just shoved it in my mouth I got all of this my mom's on FaceTime and she's just like staring at me and then I bring her into the bathroom she's still on FaceTime and I need to wash my face but I'm out of face wash it's severed it is open like this there's nothing left so I'm like sobbing into there trying to get it out I'm washing my face so hard that my face turns like beet red I go back into the kitchen to make myself some tea and there's a bug skirt God forbid there is a bug scurrying across the counter. I'm like, oh my God, I start whacking it with the paper towels, it dies. And then I'm like itching, hysterical. I've got like a horrible, 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 horrible bug phobia. Safe to say that I had a hard time sleeping last night or not a hard time sleeping, but I had a hard time getting to sleep. And then I was watching The Real Housewives, like, trying to calm down. And The Real Housewives isn't very, like, a calming show. So I was getting, like, riled up. Then it's, like, 1 o'clock. And for me, like, if I'm not in bed, if I'm not, like, eyes closed by 10, I'm having a hard time. It's just a very, like, trying day. So this morning it was, like, okay, we need to be zen. I woke up. I drank, like, 16 ounces of water. I did a meditation. I brushed my teeth. I did some yoga. I went to Trader Joe's and got all this stuff, which was a whole thing because apparently the subways don't need to be air conditioned when it's 70 degrees and rainy. So of course they were like a literal like humidity sauna. It was horrible. I'm like standing there like sweating. You know, like the sweating so much. I'm sweating on my lip. And then I come back and it's like, okay. And then I got into my cooking. What I'm trying to say is, I don't know where we're going to see each other next, but I'm hoping it's a calm environment. Here's my makeup. Nothing special. Very simple. I'm just adding some color. Just a little bit of color. I need to go like relax.